There's nothing I love more than comedy. Stand-up, sitcoms, sketch shows, women's football. Hilarious. But TV comedy stopped being funny a long time ago. The comedy industry is now run by people who understand humor in the same way the HIV virus understands empathy. As in, they don't, they can't, and they're destroying the entire thing. The most important quality for any comedian is that they're inoffensive, have the correct opinions, and come from a marginalized community. But if you disagree with the prevailing narrative, then it doesn't matter how marginalized you are, you'll be treated like a gender-fluid lesbian in Saudi Arabia. Dave Chappelle was universally considered one of the greatest comedians that's ever lived. Then he made some jokes about the alphabet people and all hell broke loose. What if I was Chinese, but, but born in this nigger body? That's not funny. <laughs> and for the rest of my life, I had to go around making that face. Hey everybody, I'm Chinese! And everyone get mad, stop making that face, that's offensive. What? <laughs> this is how I feel inside. <laughs> because it's fine to make jokes about black people, white people, gay people, Jews, Asians, Latinos, and feminists, but don't you dare suggest women don't have massive schlongs. The only reason Dave survived is because he's so successful, he's uncancelable. It's the same with Ricky Gervais. Ricky is hated by woke comedians because he's hilarious, understands primary school biology, and can pay his gas bill. Neither Ricky nor Dave would be able to do their material if they were starting comedy now. We now have comedians celebrating their colleagues being cancelled for saying things they disagree with. Graham Linehan's show was prevented from going ahead at the Edinburgh Fringe Comedy Festival, and loads of comics responded with celebration and approval. Because the comedy industry is all about diversity and inclusion. And if you aren't on board, you'll be excluded faster than you can recite your pronouns. Why? Because they're desperate to be on BBC comedy shows that are watched by six pensioners who haven't worked out how to go online. Successful British shows like The Mash Report and Mock the Week have been cancelled, whilst others like Live at the Apollo and The Last Leg are hemorrhaging viewers because no one watches comedy to find out what a middle-class 22-year-old thinks about politics. In the US, it's no better as huge shows like Jimmy Kimmel, Stephen Colbert, Saturday Night Live and The Tonight Show have all embraced political posturing over comedy. This has given rise to some dynamite sketches such as this. Get your shot right now in your arm. It won't hurt. Give a shot, give a shot, give a vaccine shot. Give a shot, give a shot, give a vaccine shot. Get your vaccine, vaccine. We make you sexy, sexy. Vaccine. You're watching Newsmax Kids. At one, it's White Power Rangers. But first, it's Ted Cruz Street. resident medical expert, Joe Rogan. And some horse medicine. Well, why would a bird take horse medicine? I'm a human, and I took horse medicine. C-R-N-T, critical race theory. And I think it stands for Caucasian rights trampled. Speaking of suspicious, what do you call a trans woman that walks into an abortion clinic? Her name is Rebecca, and she's a fantastic person. Their routines and opinions are all the same. Trump is a fascist, everyone who voted for him is a racist, and the Democrats are brilliant. I can't remember a single routine by any of those comics mocking Joe Biden. If you can't take the piss out of Joe Biden, a man who's more dead behind the eyes than Tutankhamun, then you really are in trouble. And obviously you can't make fun of Kamala Harris, as it's never acceptable to laugh at someone with learning difficulties. Space is exciting. It spurs our imaginations, and it forces us to ask big questions. Space, it affects us all, and it connects us all. When we look up at the night sky and see the stars... Comedians hate Trump because he's funnier than most of them and sells way more tickets. 
Like him or not, you have to admit Trump's Netflix special would keep you on the edge of your seat. Even Joe Biden would be able to stay awake through the entire thing. I'd prefer a Hunter Biden comedy special. Who wouldn't want to listen to a dynamite routine about taking cocaine in the White House toilet, getting arrested, and having the contents of your laptop disgrace your entire family? To be fair to Hunter, I don't know any man who could survive having his laptop's internet search history being thoroughly examined. That's one exam we would all fail. Everyone knows that comedy used to be funnier 15 years ago. There are jokes you used to be able to make that would simply not be allowed today, like this. Next up, Thomas Beatty announced he was gonna have a baby, but what was unusual about the whole affair? Okay, what have you got? Don't well, we have that he was a man, that he was a pregnant male transsexual. That's what was new, it was him having the baby. Okay, Sean James? We wrote, it was an abomination. <laughs> 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 Our team will accept that answer as being the same as ours. That's fine. That's grand. Yeah, go and include that. It was an abomination. Yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> when the baby was born, when the yeah, and he or she said to the doctor, "Is it a boy or a girl?" Do you think the doctor just went, "How dare you"? <laughs> this is a Channel Four comedy show. Channel Four is the most liberal and progressive out of all the UK TV channels. They would rather host a show called We Agree With Everything J.K. Rowling Says than broadcast material like this now. What? 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 The only comedian in this clip who didn't soil himself at this footage being leaked is Sean Locke. And that's because he's dead. Just like TV comedy. Comedy is now so toothless and weak it makes your dementia-ridden 92-year-old grandmother look like a roided-up pit bull. We used to watch these shows and comedians because they spoke truth to power and mocked the elite. Nowadays, the only reason to watch TV comedy is to find out what the elites want you to think. The most honest comedy show in the UK is on the Dave channel. It's called Comedians Giving Lectures because that's what TV comedy is now. So get your notepads out because another fresh-faced, ethnically ambiguous diversity box ticker is about to tell you what you're supposed to think. Isn't that what you do, mate? Absolutely.